Hi, this is Edward Nowatka for Publishing Perspectives. I'm here in New York City with Jerome Kramer. Jerome is the uh, co-founder of Book Magazine, um, the late Book Magazine, which is very well, very much missed. A um, the founder and VP and editor in chief of the Book Standard at Kirkus Reviews, and most recently was business development manager with NetGalley. So, Jerome, BEA is in New York this week, your home territory, and I'm curious, what are you working on these days? I'm working on a few things. Um, most notably, uh, maybe in kind of a uh, very quiet mode still, but we're working on uh, the Museum of American Literature. Um, that's Sounds good. just uh, in kind of the founding development stages. Um, and then uh, I'm working on a few things in and around media and publishing still, as well as uh, a number of things that are outside uh, publishing, honestly, because uh, it's been kind of uh, interesting to watch the industry um, go through some pretty tough times, obviously. Uh, Next galley, I think you mentioned, was the last thing that, that uh, I'd done in, uh, on, on kind of an honest job level. Um, and that's since, since I was in that guy, it was owned by uh, Rosetta Solutions, it was bought by, um, by Firebrand. Right. Well, what are your feelings about watching this happen? Because obviously you know quite a few people who've been in and out of jobs, and, and some good ideas have come and gone. Yeah, so. a lot out, a lot of out of jobs now. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's an interesting time. You know, I think the cliches hold up that um, adversity leads to opportunity. I think the thing that... I, I've been watching in terms of a basic pattern that I find most interesting is that as the industry, which was kind of famously cushy, famously comfortable, has been forced to streamline, um, has been forced to embrace digital, I think the opportunities are out there. You've got your little uh, flip uh, HD camera Mm -hmm. that you're doing this thing for your new site. Um, I think that's indicative of what's going on and what's going to work in the industry. I've always been an advocate for the idea that publishers would move more or less rapidly towards being uh, managers of aggregated content with less dedication to the particular platforms that that content was being delivered on. Right. I've been saying that. I'd like to say I've been saying that for uh, long enough that I, I was a voice crying out of the wilderness, but I was a voice of a lot of other people saying it. Now, I think we're seeing enough of that happen that places like uh, Lake NetGalley part of this, um, are really getting some traction. So NetGalley now operating uh, with Firebrand uh, behind it is has set kind of modest goals, but it's meeting them, is my understanding. Um, in terms of getting traction and getting people interested in getting digital delivery of free publication content um, that they can then push their media message with in a way that, you know, back when we were toiling in different salt mines Print five years ago, ten years ago, it just, they weren't on the radar. Well, let me ask this. You mentioned, the first thing you mentioned was the idea for a museum of American literature. Right. Does that take... Well, does that take a physical form? It seems kind of retrograde compared to what you just described, which is totally ephemeral and digital. Right. Or do you do this entirely online? I think we're going to I think we're going to build it out digitally initially, uh, because I think we can curate some very interesting stuff um, in, in an online mode. And obviously, I think what we'd like to move to is is physical uh, museums, probably in in. Uh, multiple cities, although New York makes an enormous amount of sense. Um, it's the kind of thing that uh, I think has great potential precisely because publishing has moved from something that was clearly and obviously part of the center of the entertainment um, mainstream yes. to something which is a little bit more rarefied. I've always, uh, I've always thought of the old... Uh, scenes from the original classic Star Trek where Captain James T. Kirk is a bibliophile and I think he has like a book, right. you know, like a, a physical book. It's this rare kind of odd creature. Um, I don't think we're getting to that point by any means, but I think that between people's affection for the book as object, for um, their embrace for the way books intersect with popular culture, which is kind of the heartbeat that that he was behind Book Magazine. You mentioned Book Magazine that yeah. Mark Lisa and I founded a number of years ago. 
we always were very interested in the way that reading and popular culture connected. Yes. That, along with that affection for books as object, along with the technological explosion in reading, Kindle, Sony e-reader, the iPhone app, you know, Steve Jobs said, oh, we'll never get into reading. Well, now the iPhone yep. is actually working beautifully as a reader. I think there's enough going on there that it would be wonderful to have a place where busloads of fourth graders, as well as bibliophiles, wizened old people like us. Like we will and, become. And, and, yes. Uh, yes, we'll become. Um, would be able to uh, would be able to go and kind of see the way literature and reading in America exploded onto the scene, shaped this country, shaped popular culture, and continue to have an enormous impact on it um, going forward. Because yep. I, I, I don't think that it's anywhere near over, but I think it's been incredibly transformed. So I think actually viewing it from a, a dynamic museum perspective, the way you see museums work in New York, particularly Chicago, Los Angeles, um, it's a very exciting opportunity and we get a lot of enthusiasm. If somebody wants to get in touch with you, how would they do that? The best bet is to reach me at uh, Jerome underscore Kramer at Mac.com. Um, that's, we're always open. Thanks a lot, Jerome. This is Ed Nowatka for Publishing Perspectives with Jerome Kramer. And we'll have more reports from Book Expo this week. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Ed.